Dick Van Dyke was reportedly hurt after crashing his car into a gate. The legendary TV and film star, 97, was driving his Lexus LS500 in Malibu, Caleb. Last week when wet weather conditions caused his car to skid before smashing into a gate, TMZ reports. Van Dyke was left with a bloody nose and mouth, as well as a possible concussion. According to the outlet, police arrived at the scene to find the Mary Poppins star behind the wheel of his car, where he was treated by paramedics. However, he reportedly turned down an offer to go to a hospital and was instead picked up by a friend who took him home. For more Page 6 you love, listen to our weekly We Here podcast subscribe to our daily newsletter shop our exclusive merch officers said drugs and alcohol were not involved in the crash, the outlet reported, adding that authorities, no doubt due to his age, have submitted documents to the DMV requesting that Van Dyke retake his driving test. The accident comes nearly 10 years after. The Dick Van Dyke Show star was involved in another vehicular dust-up when he was rescued from his burning Jaguar in Los Angeles. The actor was pulled out from the car at the time, apparently unaware that it was a flame on the highway. Van Dyke, who first became famous for starring in Bye Bye Birdie on Broadway, has been outspoken about staying in shape in his 90s. I've always been an exerciser and still am, he told Closer in 2019. I go to the gym three days a week, get in the pool and exercise. At my age, they say to keep moving, put me on solid ground and I'll start tapping. Van Dyke's youthful energy may also be attributed to his happy marriage to Arlene Silver, 51. The couple met at the 2007 Screen Actors Guild Awards when Van Dyke was 81 and Silver, who was working as a makeup artist, was just 35. The two were friends for several years before the relationship turned romantic. They said, I do, in 2012. Silver is Van Dyke's second wife. The four-time Emmy winner split from his first wife and mother of his four children, Margie Willett, in 1984 after 36 years of marriage. He also had a long-term relationship with actress Michelle Triola until she died in 2009. Amazingly, the Kennedy Center honoree is still performing. Just last month, Van Dyke was revealed to be the singing gnome in The Masked Singer. His appearance left Judge Nicole Scherzinger in tears, with her calling it the greatest reveal ever. A representative for Van Dyke did not respond to page 6 a request for comment.